Have you ever wondered why the distant, icy world of Pluto was named after the Roman god of the underworld? Pluto, a small celestial body at the far reaches of our solar system, is a mysterious dwarf planet that has intrigued astronomers and space enthusiasts for decades. Its name, derived from Roman mythology, is a curious choice that raises interesting questions. What is the connection between this icy, remote world and the ancient god of the underworld? In Roman mythology, Pluto was the son of Saturn. He ruled the underworld while his brothers Jupiter and Neptune controlled the sky and the sea, respectively. This family dynamic presents a fascinating chronology that we will explore later in this video. The story of Pluto, both the god and the dwarf planet, is a tale filled with mystery and intrigue. As we journey through the cosmos, we will unravel the connections and discover the reasons behind this celestial naming. Let's delve into the story behind Pluto's name and its fascinating journey through the cosmos. Our story begins in the early 20th century with the discovery of a new celestial body. At the heart of the United States, in Kansas, a young man named Clyde Tombaugh was fueling his fascination for the cosmos. The year was 1930, and Tombaugh, only 24 at the time, was working at the Lowell Observatory in Flagstaff, Arizona. His mission? To locate Planet X, a hypothetical planet beyond Neptune. After months of meticulously examining photographic plates, Tombaugh finally spotted a moving object in the sky. The discovery was monumental. A new planet, the ninth in our solar system, had been found. But what to name this distant, icy world? That's where an 11-year-old British schoolgirl named Venetia Burney comes into play. Venetia, much like Tom Baugh, had a fascination for the cosmos and mythology. She suggested the name Pluto, after the Roman god of the underworld. Now you may wonder why name such a celestial body after a figure associated with darkness and the afterlife? Well, it's because the characteristics of Pluto, the planet, resonated with the traits of Pluto, the god. The real-life Pluto is a distant planet far from the warmth of the sun, shrouded in darkness and ice. Much like the underworld that the mythical Pluto ruled over, the planet is cold, remote, and somewhat mysterious. Not only did the name fit perfectly, but it also followed the tradition of naming planets after figures from classical mythology. Moreover, the first two letters of Pluto are the initials of Percival Lowell, the founder of the Lowell Observatory where Tombaugh made his discovery. A global event ensued, with people from all over the world sending in suggestions. Yet in the end, it was Venetia's suggestion that won the hearts of the decision-makers at the Lowell Observatory. And so, the ninth planet in our solar system was christened Pluto. The name was announced on May 1, 1930, and it has stuck ever since, even in the face of Pluto's later reclassification as a dwarf planet. But who was Pluto in Roman mythology and why was he associated with the underworld? Let's delve into this intriguing narrative. Pluto, in the pantheon of Roman gods, stands as a symbol of the unseen and the unknown, a ruler of the underworld. He was one of the three sons of Saturn, the god of time and agriculture. Along with his brothers Jupiter and Neptune, Pluto held dominion over the world. While Jupiter commanded the vast sky and Neptune reigned over the unpredictable sea, it was Pluto who was given the reins of the underworld, a realm shrouded in mystery and darkness. As the god of the underworld, Pluto was intimately linked with death and the afterlife, but his domain was not limited to the realm of the deceased. He was also the god of wealth, as the Romans believed that precious metals and gems came from the depths of the earth, the realm that Pluto ruled. Despite the ominous nature of his duties, Pluto was not considered an evil deity. Instead, he was seen as a stern but just ruler, a necessary part of the cosmic balance. His role was to maintain the cycle of life and death, ensuring that souls found their way to their rightful place in the afterlife. The symbolism of Pluto's domain is particularly compelling when considering the planet that bears his name. Just as Pluto governed the unseen realm, the dwarf planet Pluto exists on the fringe of our solar system a world cloaked in darkness and cold. It's a place that, until recently, remained largely unknown and unexplored, much like the underworld of Roman mythology. The association of Pluto with the underworld also hints at the planet's icy, remote nature. The underworld was often depicted as a cold, desolate place, a fitting description for a planet located at the outermost edge of our solar system. Pluto's icy, mysterious nature seems fitting for a planet named after the god of the underworld. The connection between the god and the planet adds an extra layer of intrigue to our understanding of both Roman mythology and our solar system. 
Despite its ominous association with the underworld, Pluto's status in our solar system has been a subject of debate in recent years. The celestial body, once recognized as the ninth planet from our Sun, has been at the center of a controversy that has rocked the world of astronomy. Pluto's planetary status was unquestioned from its discovery in 1930, up until 2006. That's when the International Astronomical Union, or IAU, decided to shake things up a bit. They redefined what it means to be a planet. And suddenly, Pluto didn't make the cut. You see, the IAU decided that a planet must clear its orbit. In other words, it must be gravitationally dominant in its path around the Sun. And Pluto, with its eccentric and inclined orbit, shares its space with icy objects in the Kuiper Belt, a region of the solar system beyond the orbit of Neptune. So by this new definition, Pluto was reclassified as a dwarf planet. This decision by the IAU sparked a heated debate among scientists and space enthusiasts. Some argue that the new definition is flawed, limiting, and dismissive of Pluto's complex and interesting nature. Others maintain that the classification is necessary for scientific clarity and consistency. The implications of this decision are significant. It has prompted us to rethink our understanding of the solar system, challenging the traditional nine-planet model we've all grown up with. It has opened up a broader discussion about what constitutes a planet and how we categorize celestial bodies. Despite its demotion, Pluto continues to captivate us. Its icy surface, its five known moons, and its mysterious heart-shaped region named Tombal Regio after its discoverer are all subjects of ongoing exploration and study, and so the debate rages on. Is Pluto a planet, a dwarf planet, or perhaps something else entirely? Only time and continued research will tell. Whether a planet or a dwarf planet, Pluto remains a fascinating and enigmatic world, forever linked with the ancient Roman god of the underworld. From its discovery to its controversial reclassification, the story of Pluto is as intriguing as the god it's named after. A unique celestial body, named for the Roman ruler of the underworld, still sparking debates. As we continue to explore the cosmos, who knows what further mysteries Pluto might reveal?